lives will never be the same. You have to be careful because if you show your forearm to someone, their penis can go inside of you. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Party! Guys, what? Wow. Crazy, right? Astonishing voice I've ever heard in my life. And I got my civil rights. You got a hat on your head, yeah, goddamn. I did it. I really did it. Hot dog, get your hot dog. Guys, I was trying to take a dump and I was getting shot at. Hi. I'm Chris Romano, and stay tuned for more Drunk History. You're not going to believe what you see, but you're going to believe what you hear. <laughs> Derek Waters, everybody. Yeah, let's Drunk build. History. Let's build together. We can build this together. <laughs> Starting at ground level, but we will build level by level. So we'll... B at A L L. <laughs> nice freestyle, man. Mm. I feel like this interview is going to end with the entire crowd and us in a big pyramid. Should we make this happen? Well, that's a build. That's yeah, a build. we got a build. Should we do that? Love can build a bridge. <laughs> I don't know what the insurance situation is, but we'll figure it out. Uh, man, uh, first of all, congratulations. Here we are, season four, Thank drunk you, history. Here we are. And uh, yes, literally, here we are. Here we are. And season four. Season four. Drug history. Nuts. It's crazy town. Nuts. It's crazy Nuts town. Nuts so. though. Yes, it's very cool. It's very cool. Somehow this little idea just kept going. And uh, it's so much fun, obviously. Yes. And uh, now it's, you know, at first it was just a show that would be like, oh, it'd be funny to have someone tell a story that they're very passionate about and reenact it. But now it's such a goal of just finding stories that make me go, why isn't this taught in school? Why don't we know about this? And so I'm not trying to change the world, but I'm having a lot more fun just digging and finding history stories that for whatever reason, race, sex, was just hidden. And I feel like I have a job now to like tell those stories. You do what you do have a job, and it's on Comedy Central, so that's insane. It's pretty cool, man. As in, that doesn't really get uh, allowed on shows like this. So, I'm having fun. Yeah, I, I remember being in in grade school, and you learn about Frankenstein, and you think the monster's name is Frankenstein, but exactly. for whatever reason, they wait until high school to tell you that that's not the case at all, and the monster didn't even have a name. So, it's like, what is this? Do you think? What school did you go to? <laughs> you were learning about Frankenstein. Ah, uh, small town in Ohio. Homeschooled. Uh, yeah, not much to do. <laughs> I was homeschooled. I just asked your mom why she was teaching about Frankenstein. Yeah. Well, we can call. We'll call her later. We'll find out. Okay. We'll bring her. We'll bring her into okay, the fold. Cool. Uh, but look, the show is totally crushing. Everyone loves this show, and it's so much fun. And uh, and let's let's just say it, you're a lip sync master. You've got this Thank down. You. I liked Millie Vanilli growing up. And I was just like, how can I lip sync like that? Uh, no. I <laughs> so big influence then, and that inspired huge, the show. You're huge. Like, no, I, um, I, I have fun lip syncing. It's very hard. It looks easy, but it is hard. People will say it's easy, but, I mean, because the actors have to emulate the character they're playing and the narrator and make it funny, you know? So uh, it's kind of like short it's kind of like a silent film and their lips are part of their body for doing like a, you know, uh, physical comedy. 
Now, now, is there a such thing as a lip syncing coach? Is that something that that some of your actors and players have to bring on board to help out? Maybe I am a lip sync coach. I don't know. I've I've humbly never called myself or thought of myself as a lip sync coach. Uh, but they have it on. You know, it's like a music video, so it's on a loop, and the actors are hearing it played over and over again, which gets really annoying, but it's fun. And uh, and the actors also have like iPads. 2016 technology. <laughs> um, so yeah, they they're hearing it all day. So uh, it's but there's no coaching. That, that would be pretty bad if someone had to handwrite out all the all the the words. Yeah. And then if they messed up, to, they'd have to handwrite them out again instead of just using the old boards. Well, we do have scripts, so the scripts will say. Is, am I allowed to swear? Or it'll just say sure. like an F word. Mm -hmm. I don't know which F word. But it'll say like an F word and then like just a bunch of different letters and you'll be like, what? I don't know what that means. And then when you hear it, you'll go, oh, that's why it said frars, frars, right? Right. That's fiddle faddle. That's why it says fiddle faddle. Fiddle Sorry. faddle is a good one. Fiddle faddle is definitely a good one. Um, all right. Did you find out at some point that you were a happy drunk? A mean drunk. Me, personally? Yeah, a fun drunk. You personally, so that you knew when you had the concept for the show that it could work out if, if you were going to be drinking alongside people to tell stories. Um, I love people. I really do. And uh, I think I've never thought of myself as a drunk. You're an asshole for saying that. I'm just kidding. I love this man. I love him. Uh, no, but I've always liked, I've always had patience. Right. Uh, it's hard to humbly say this, but I love people and I have a lot of patience. And so uh, drinking with someone uh, and when they go off track for in this in this job is when when the, when someone goes off track and I'm not working, I go home, you know, but I can't on this show. But I have patience on how to steer them back uh, to the story. Gotcha. But it's it is fun. When people yell at you to get out of your house, that's not fun. It's weird because as a kid, I always liked the show Cops. And I feel like at the end of every night shoot of our narration, it becomes Cops. <laughs> get out of my house. You don't love me. All right. <laughs> but the cops never show. <laughs> so you've had your heart broken many a time. Yeah, yeah. Four, four seasons worth <laughs> of broken hearts. Yeah, but I'm in my favorite <laughs> show, Cops. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. It's it, a dream come true. I wonder if there were, do you think there were extras on that show, Cops? I auditioned for Cops a couple times. Yeah? No, there were not extras <laughs> in Cops. Do you get residuals on Cops? I've always wondered that. I don't know. Good question. All right, we'll ask the yeah, build maybe, Cops maybe. when they build the <laughs> Cops episode here. Uh, but yes, drinking, I've always had patience, and, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Now, uh, as we continue to build here, together we're building i feel like we're on level two we're level two we just yeah. got to level two now okay. uh what an amazing cast you have i like that you guys like the build joke. yeah <laughs> that makes me feel very good we're gonna my it. dad was bob the builder so <laughs> was <laughs> Is it, was it hard breaking out of the shadow like was it you know making a name well for yourself? i mean you did change your name no. so well, I liked building, but I didn't love building like my father, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> sure. All right, uh, look, d my, one of my personal heroes, Dave Grohl, is... Name drop. Name drop is a part of this show now. This Dave is something Grohl, that's yeah. factual information, no take backs. It's been filmed. Can't it's do it. anything about it. It's in the can. Yes. And he's just at the top of a long list of incredible people yeah. you've been able to get to be a part of this show. Yeah. And that's just a testament to not only how cool and unique it is and how different it is, but just the environment must be absolutely uh, fun and hysterical. Thanks, and buddy. I mean, that's the goal. I mean, we're too lucky to be doing what we want for work not to be fun. So people are like, it's so much fun here. I'm like, God. It must suck everywhere else. I'm so thankful. <laughs> I'm so thankful to be able to have a job that I can make sure that everyone's having fun and that it is. Life's too short to be dealing with pain. You know, I don't want those people around. I always choose nice people who just so happen to be talented. That's the only people I want to work with. And 
and through that, the people that work on the show all want to be there. And when you have, uh, I don't say that as in like, I'm so great. I say like, no, there's no money at Comedy Central. So these people really are only there because they like the project. And whenever you do a project and it's like that, it will show because people really want it to be good. And my goal is that everyone who worked on the show watches it and can see what they did uh, throughout the show. It's awesome. Cool. It's great. I'm a dick. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Derek, um, uh, where, where to go next? I mean, there's so many things to talk about. If, if for those of you who have seen the show, uh, might not even know this, but all these stories are true. 100%. This is all real stuff. As in, unbelievable as some of these stories may seem, yeah. they're the real deal. The dialogue, you know, is a little off, but mm -hmm. the names and the facts of the story are true. Yeah. So, so with that said, and... Uh, have, have previous history teachers of yours throughout time yeah. come and contacted you and, uh, and not corrected you because there's nothing to correct? It's, it's all true stuff. I mean, have yeah. they been impressed with what you've been able to do? And, and do they yeah. try to take any of the credit? Do they? I, I don't want to brag, but I am on Facebook. And I really feel like the best thing that's ever happened to me on Facebook is reconnecting with... Um, it is weird that it always does touch me. My history teacher. He was just my favorite. So, yeah, Mr. Stang. Is this, uh, is this high school? Is this school? High school, yeah. High school? Best teacher. You always remember your best teacher, you know? Absolutely. Because they didn't teach you. They talked to you. And uh, I love that. So, yeah, getting to reconnect with your teacher. Thanks, Facebook. I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share it. Just did. You can comment. I was Sorry. Say, I'm a Facebook comic. <laughs> I guess it makes it very uh, uh, interesting sharing vacation photos with your teacher later on in life, right? It's yeah. It's weird that those are available for each other. <laughs> <It's> disgusting. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so who did you have a lot of fun with uh, this season, oh. season four? Because we're, we're now two episodes in. We're two episodes in, yep. We got uh, how many? Seven more. Uh, there's a lot of great things to talk about on the show, but one of the narrators this season, my hero, Bob Odenkirk. If you got, you know, Better yes. Call Saul and Breaking Bad. But Mr. Show. Mr. Show is yeah. the best comedy show ever made, hands down. And uh, he's been my hero and mentor since I moved out there. And he doesn't even drink, but he wanted to. And I've known how long he wanted to tell this story. And uh, it's the story of the disco demolition when they claim uh, the day disco died. And uh, it's really, really great. That's awesome. But yeah, um, Jenny Slade is back. Love that girl. Um, there's so many people. Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, Dwight Yoakam. I love that Very man. cool. A lot of musicians. A lot of musicians. Yeah. Well, uh, who's better at lip syncing? It's true. What was that one girl's Who's name? still alive, Millie or Vanilli? I apologize. No, ever... that is a common confusion. It's not. It's like they weren't called Millie and Vanilli. That was just their name. We'll talk about it later. But I, I got confused on that, too. Um, but, yeah, it's my. I humbly say it's my favorite season because uh, we just made stories that were like, we need to tell this. Uh, in the past... We've only we've always done cities like oh we're in Nashville we got to tell three stories that happened in Nashville and I started feeling like oh we're just putting this story in because it happened here why don't we just grab stories that are like oh my god this is amazing and then we'll figure out why we're telling them as in like put a theme in front of them so yeah the first episode is Great Escapes second is Legends and next week is Bar Fights <laughs> Bar Fights yeah yeah I've I, I've never been in a bar fight have you ever I've been, I've been punched. I've been punched. You've been punched. So yeah. you've been in a bar fight. You just I didn't fight, fight back because <laughs> I was on the ground. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson that you're taught as a child. You do not talk to strangers. Just don't <laughs> talk to strangers. Gotcha. And not everyone finds you funny. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I, I'm heartbroken right now. A it's bit. all good. Well, uh, Derek. Um, of all the stories you've been able to tell so far with Drunk History, yeah, 
And obviously, these most of them, not all of them, some are more recent than others, but uh, the ones that are beyond a time where people are still alive that have been involved with these situations, is there any one that you, you wish you could be in that moment and have a drink with the person involved mm. of the story you're telling to really pick their brain and, and dive in there like in a more cerebral level? That's a really good question. I do not have an answer for it. There's so many people that I would like to do that with. Any president, any president. Uh, but I don't have a particular one that I'm like, what were you? Because also I'm like, well, all right, if Lincoln and I are getting a drink, I don't want him to be drinking. <laughs> There's certain people I don't think should be drinking. And, you know, but if he's he's already dead or is he uh, is Lincoln dead? Maybe he's not president yet. Maybe you're oh. ahead of time. Yeah. I guess that's too easy, but Lincoln. Yeah, but that's still pretty cool. Or Edgar Allan Poe, like sober Edgar Allan Poe, just to watch how he would drink and go out of his mind. I would be interested in that. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right, uh, autographs. I, th I think they're a weird thing. And uh, do they even do people? People don't do autographs anymore. It's just Instagram. Snap me. Will you send me a snap? Oh, will you like my snap? I met Bill Murray, I snapped him. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> like an autograph, like when we were kids, was like, I met Cal Ripken, like, and it's up there, wow. Now it's like you like just scroll like a picture. It's just bragging. I think autographs were always like, I don't know, but I'll let you finish your well, question. I was <laughs> I was going to ask you, do you remember signing your first one, like once the show took off and, and people maybe realize who you are now and, and, and be like, oh, my God, it's, the, you know, it's that guy. I got to not Mary snap him. Not from Mary with Children. It's not Bud Bundy. It's <laughs> Derek. Happens a lot. Do you sign autographs as David as Bud Faustino? Bundy. Yeah, do yeah. you do that? Yeah, not Bud Bundy. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Oh, man, I sound like a jerk, but I don't remember the first time Someone said, can I have your autograph? Uh, but that I, doesn't happen that much. So it's, uh, it, the whole thing is just surreal. And the people that like the show, I like. Mm -hmm. um, so that's always good. <laughs> I like their taste. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, wh where can this go? We, I feel like this could be franchised out. What, what level are we building to? I don't know. Like, oh, is our goal to get to level eight? Like, what's what? <laughs> oh, we got we got oh, wait. four. Sh shove. Uh, we'll get a. Uh, where where are we at, guys? We're, we're at level, level five? five. How many levels should we go before oh, we, we finish this build? And that includes you guys when we Q and A. <laughs> ten. Well, our goal is to get to ten. Eight. eight. All right. Eight. We'll eight try to is. get eight. We got three more. Levels to go. They get a little bit trickier the higher we go. So. Bill, come on. Get in the truck, grab the wood, and the hammers, and the nails. Next question. All right. Did you practice, did you practice what you were going to say to Bob Odenkirk the first time you met him? Did you go over it in your head? Because, you know, he is a legend. Did you, were you nervous? Oh, was I? Yeah, of course. I mean, I know him, but he's still Bob Odenkirk. So, yes, I was very nervous, and... Uh, my goal is just to, for everyone is just let them talk, let them be them. And, you know, uh, I was nervous, but I'm like, he's already here. So don't be nervous. Like uh, that part's over. We're filming it. I was worried he would get too drunk because he doesn't drink. So I'm monitoring that. But yeah, he did. He did really well. But like, you know, uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda got drunk and did the story of Hamilton, and that I was nervous about just because, A, I had only met him over the phone, and we were shooting at his parents' house, so his mom and dad were upstairs, and I had seen that house when I was watching him on 60 Minutes, and then I'm drunk interviewing him. <laughs> and, uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. And, uh, but yeah, just for everybody to treat them the same is just, I pick these people because there's no one that I've met that knows these stories better than they do. So I just let them be. And, you know, they tell it more than once, a lot, a lot of times, and uh, a lot of different amounts of alcohol. That's awesome. Uh, 
where can we franchise this out? What other things can we do? I love that. Wait, what, what do you mean, where can we do what? The drunk history or, like, this build? <laughs> We're taking this build to the streets. Oh, where can we franchise? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, what? Like, like, this could be a branded thing. You know, we're doing drunk history at now. What else can we do? Oh, different drunk? Yeah, shows? drunk scenarios. Mean? Yeah, what else would be fun to do? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't ever want to glorify alcohol or be like, hey, it's a drunk guy. It's a guy, well, what would he do without alcohol? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Alcohol saved his life. <laughs> uh, but it kind of did. Um, but I wouldn't want to do another show about alcohol. But this isn't about alcohol. This is using alcohol to tell great stories that should be told more. And I think alcohol helps humanize uh, historical characters and humanizes the narrators that you relate to the people telling the story whether you drink or not you like you're rooting for them you want them to get through this story so um, yeah there's a lot of different levels to why I wanted to do it and love doing it nice all right we're on level six now level six we saved two You've for the audience level six <laughs> we've y'all got mail y'all got mail Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do some audience Q and A here. Uh, man in the front with the beard. Beard gang. You would say beard and not cool hat. You would go. I the went beard. beard the stuck beard's out great. And not the hat. <laughs> I'll take both. I like them both. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you for being an OG and the best builder ever. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. It's been fun. It's been fun. We can do it. We just gotta keep That's step it, by man. step, step by step, day by day. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> All day, every day. So the show is called Drunk History. I got to know. I like to drink. I like to have a good time. I get kind of ratchet sometimes. I'll drink the natty ice and whatever. I can't help myself. Ratty? You get ratty? No, the natty. I like the natural ice. Oh, natty yeah. Ice. No, I know natty. Yeah. yeah. You said you, sometimes you drink and you get a little... Oh, oh, ratchet. Oh, what's that? Yeah, what's it's, ratchet? Well... <laughs> We We're could old. probably be here all day. See me in action, and like you might understand. We'll talk later. Cool. Um, so, long story short, what do you like putting in your cup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I think you. We just went back down to level. Oh level. no, we're all building. <laughs> we're building this together. There's no bad questions. There's everyone is here together. It's true. We're all great good. question. Great question. What do I like to put in my drink? Um, when I'm doing it, uh, every year I choose a different drink to drink with them. Or sometimes, if I don't know the narrator that well, I'll drink what they're having so I can feel exactly what they're feeling. Uh, but more than... Uh, I usually do Bullet Bourbon or Zima. I had to put a joke in there. we got to build. we got to get to level eight. <laughs> Can't build being serious. <laughs> It's true. That's true. Thank you for the question. Uh, Thank you, buddy. Who's up next? The Hi. Back. Uh, you mentioned that you recently reunited with your history teacher. Do you have any plans in the future to collaborate with him? And then mm -hmm. what level are you planning to go with your history teacher? <laughs> what level as in, like, are we going to be, like, best friends? No, like building. Lots. Oh, building. <laughs> oh, yes. And what's your name real quick? I'm Tanya. Tanya the Builder. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> I'm Derek the Builder. Mark the Builder. What was your first name? Kyle, the builder. Thank you for building. <laughs> oh, man. Um, to answer your question, Mr. Stang, um, I hope maybe, you know, he's still teaching. and uh, But if he wasn't, I would like him to be working on the show. But he lives in Baltimore. He has his family. So, um, but. Whenever I go home, I get to see him, and uh, I do ask him for stories that he thinks we should tell, and uh, he's, he sends me stories that he thinks we should do. So that's, it's pretty, I'm very, I'm very humbled by reconnecting with him. He's the best. So you remember when you came home from school, and you're like, Mom and Dad, you would tell stories about your teacher. You'll never forget your favorite teacher. They're, they're the best. So, yeah. Thank you for your question. And what level? I, I don't know. But uh, Mr. Stang's part of this building process, and uh, he's uh, he's he's helping us. He's got the foundation. I think uh, I think we need just one more question For, to build to get to, <laughs> to eight. Get to the tippy top. Was that seven? All right. Seven. All right. We're going to eight. Let's okay. do this. Eight. We got? No hate. 
Eight, no hate. Eight, no hate. <laughs> hey, what's going on, bro? What's up, buddy? Uh, thanks for coming through. Thanks. So, my question for what's you What's your is name, sir? Brandon the Builder. Brandon the Builder, yeah! <laughs> Picking up steam, I like it. Build me up. All right, so, <laughs> so I wanted to know out of the three seasons, which one was your favorite season to shoot? Okay, uh, before this season? Is that, or just in... Which, which season, any, well, I'm between one and three. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'll sound like I'm promoting the show, but this season we're doing right now really is my favorite, and only because that we made a change of grabbing stories that I just feel like more people need to know about, and uh, instead of just picking them from different cities. So, you know, uh, like last night, the great story of Ella Fitzgerald and Marilyn Monroe having this great friendship, that it's just a very rare story, and... Uh, yeah, the comedy is what I hope keeps you there, but the history, or no, I like that the comedy gets you in, and I hope that the history keeps you there. Yeah, that's it. Close enough. Is that a roof? We're in. I was trying to put the roof up. We're chilling there. on the roof right now. You know. Thank you, Brandon right. the Builder. Yeah, Thanks thank you, for everybody building in the audience. For helping we us built build it. Today. We built it. I love it. We did it. Everyone, be sure to watch Drunk History on Comedy Central every Tuesday. And get ready for some bar fights. Yeah. Bar Thank fights. you guys very much. I appreciate Thank it. You. It's been fun. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>